Bodhicitta uh, is a very profound term. I mean, again, if we were to translate it directly into English, it would mean something like the thought or the mind of enlightenment. And so in its, its ultimate sense, it's exactly that. What is the nature of a Buddha's mind? A mind endowed completely with unrestricted uh, compassion and all pervasive wisdom. But from the point of view of a beginner, beginners like, like ourselves, bodhicitta actually is like the initial aspiration that impels us to follow the path, the path that will culminate exactly in awakening, in becoming a Buddha. So in that sense, bodhicitta is what is the what arises in when we consider the situation that affects all beings, not just ourselves, a situation of suffering caused by ignorance and the, the other disturbing emotions. And moved by this, by this, uh, the awareness that we, we, we develop into the suffering of others, we ask ourselves, well, what can be done? What can, what, how can I aid people to become free from suffering? And actually, when one examines that question, one comes to the conclusion that without the capacity that a Buddha has of unrestricted compassion and wisdom, as I said, we're unable to do very much. So we then, with that thought in mind, we're inspired. We're inspired to set out on that path to Buddhahood for the benefit of others. And so this altruistic resolve, this altruistic impulse, is what we call bodhicitta. Bodhicitta, bodhicitta for, for people like us, for beginners on the path like, like, like us. So bodhicitta in this sense is an aspiration to become a Buddha. And along with that also the determination to do what it takes to follow the path that will indeed culminate in me realizing these qualities of unrestricted wisdom and compassion, the Buddha, the Buddha qualities. So in this sense bodhicitta is like wishing to go somewhere, that being Buddhahood, and committing oneself to undertake the journey to reach that destination. So that is, we, we call that the kind of, as I say, bodhicitta arising for ordinary people in ordinary beings. Uh, but alongside this, there is the, the transcendental uh, or, or ultimate bodhicitta, which is the transformation of the mind that takes place when we see reality directly for the first time. Not merely have a concept about what it is like or an image of what it's like, but having achieved extraordinary stability in meditation, come to the non-dual, the direct, uh, unmediated experience of reality. That is the true dawning of wisdom. And that we call the ultimate bodhicitta. So from this we can see that in a way compassion starts out of the kind of the development of compassion and culminates in a wisdom which is inseparable from that compassion and which will then carry us on to Buddhahood itself. <laughs>